Thanks for joining us on this Monday evening. I'm Philip Stewart in for Morris Jones. Well, we are on hurricane watch tonight as Earl gains strength. Right now it is passing just to the north of Puerto Rico. The Category 4 storm is on a path that could cause problems up and down the east coast. Tonight, people from North Carolina to Maine are being asked to watch this storm very closely. All right, so let's get the very latest on where Earl is right now and what it could mean for our area. And Joe, I know just because this isn't hitting the mainland, at least at this point, doesn't mean I mean, it's not a threat. Out of right. battleground Maryland, three Republicans are vying to challenge Democrat Peter Franchot in Maryland's comptroller race. Last week, we told you that Citigroup will close its mortgage office in Frederick sometime next year. Well, today, the company announced that of the 940 employees at that location, 900 will be able to work from home. Right. So what are fellow Democrats, do you think, going to be saying after this? And what are the Republicans going to be saying after this speech tomorrow night? Because there's always spin after <laughs> anything like this, right? Even a historic it, it, monumental exactly. New details tonight in an accident that left two workers hurt at a car wash in Woodbridge. Witnesses say the driver of a Jeep commander apparently lost control and hit two employees at the Sonic car wash along Jefferson Davis Highway yesterday. Day number 57 above 90 for us. Thanks for putting that out. <laughs> My air conditioning bill reflects that. Thank you very much, Joe. Well, today, Montgomery County officials broke ground on the new Silver Spring Library. The ceremony comes after more than two decades of discussion. The price tag for construction is set at $32 million, but the project is already millions over budget. Pepco's been sort of touting this, this six-step, $250 million plan, but it sounds like some of the people that you talked to there, and even Ike Leggett specifically mentioned, a plan on a board isn't going to cut it. Is anybody sort of embracing this plan? A young girl died after being hit by a car in Fairfax County. It happened near the intersection of Franconia Road and Cannon Lane. Nine-year-old Rebecca Johns was riding her bike across Franconia when she was struck. Two men on a Chicago to Amsterdam flight have been charged by Dutch police with preparation of a terrorist attack. Ahmed Mohammed Nasser Al Sufi and Hazam Al Morisi were questioned by Dutch authorities after U.S. officials found a cell phone taped to a Pepto Bismol bottle and keep track of our countdown to the weather record. The record that Joe there's been talking about with the TBD heat watch. We are, as you heard, at 56 days right now at 90 degrees or above. 12 more. And we can claim a new record. How exciting. The president returned to his first full day of work today to talk about economic recovery. He asked Republicans in Congress to stop blocking his plan to cut taxes for small businesses. You're trying to get a new license in Virginia. You're out of luck. Since last Thursday, the state's been having some major computer problems. 26 different agencies are affected, including the DMV. Customer service centers across the state haven't been able to process driver's licenses or ID cards. Now, the DMV is warning when the problem with the computers is fixed, there will be longer lines. A legal blow tonight for Virginia's Attorney General Ken Cuccinelli after he tried to subpoena documents from the University of Virginia. Wow, I gotta find a pool this weekend. This would be a this great is... weekend to open those things up, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Anybody listening with a pool, <laughs> let us know. All right. Thank you very much, okay. Kyle. I'm Philip Stewart. These are your top stories at 430 here on TBD. Thousands of people, including Maryland's gubernatorial candidates, paid their final respects to Pastor Betty Peebles today. Her funeral service was held this morning in Landover. She passed away last week at the age of 76. Pastor Peebles and her late husband founded the mega church, Jericho City of Praise. Prince William police combed a grassy knoll off southbound I-95 in Triangle this morning, searching for evidence in the Sunday shooting at the Marine Corps Museum. As the investigation moves forward, authorities are trying to find out if there could be links to the shootings at the Pentagon days later. Anyone with information is urged to call police. The president continues his four-day campaign swing today. He is in California, then later he'll be in Nevada, both places stumping for Democrats, fighting for their political lives. Among them, two senators in heated races, Barbara Boxer and Harry Reid. President Obama doing fundraisers and campaign stops for both of them. With 11 days to go, Democrats are hoping to give the GOP a run for their money. And early voting is now underway in several states as well as the district. Maryland is among them. Registered voters can cast a ballot early now through October 28th. Centers are open from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Both incumbent Governor Martin O'Malley and Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown 
cast their ballots today. A, it was a little chilly this morning, as I'm yes, sure you uh, know. Right? Uh, I discovered that when I woke up this morning and I left my bedroom window open, not realizing it was going to get <laughs> quite that cold. <laughs> so the stock market is still reeling, though, from yesterday's losses, and experts say that has to do with money problems in the European markets. Fears of a Greek financial meltdown continue to worry investors. Back in this country, Goldman Sachs survived a tough line of questioning coming from lawmakers, but not without damaging the company's already tarnished image. The investment banking firm CEO is considered by some to be public enemy number one, a title he's not thrilled to have. In the, the story previous to you, uh, Merrick Garland apparently is the one that uh, conservatives may favor the most. Do you think that's true? Do you agree with that? Maybe young, but they are convincing businesswomen. 50 cents. <laughs> Tips, please, too. Tips, please, too. How these mini entrepreneurs are banking on your taste buds. Well, finally from us this hour, some kids are finding their entrepreneurial spirit by taking lemons and making lemonades. Sunday is National Lemonade Day. It's all about teaching kids how to start and run their own business. Jasmine Blair and Kenna Smith are just two kids wanting to break into the business. The Houston, Texas stand started four years ago, and the motive is still the same, making money and making the customer happy. Kids across Houston set up 27,000 lemonade stands, and they donated some of that money to local charities. Some of the country's most successful businessmen, by the way, like Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, started with lemonade stands. More news, traffic, and weather coming up at the top of the hour at 6 o'clock here on Live Tonight.